The Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute based out of the University of West Virginia is testing the safety and feasibility of deep brain stimulation as a treatment for addiction. Dr. Sam Sarani joins us live to discuss. Dr. Sarani, good morning to you. Always good to see you. Thank you so much for being with us. So this procedure has reversed Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and a few other conditions. How is it being used to combat drug addiction? Good morning, Barbie. Glad to be here. One of the key thing is that there are so many challenges which we are facing nowadays and for which the medical science are struggling. Uh, you know, in the vaccine, we saw messenger RNA base uh, revolutionizing the thing. The deep brain stimulation is making its way. We, it has been proven, as you mentioned, for Parkinson's and seizures and obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, but it has been tried. We discussed a few weeks ago, uh, there is a study going on for Alzheimer's disease for the uh, for its treatment by doing a deep brain stimulation. We know that the addiction is very important. If you get addicted to opiate or heroin, you keep on relapsing back again and again and again, and you try the medicine, you try the social support system, it doesn't work. So what they try to do is they go to the root cause, and what they do is they drill a small hole in the brain, put a microprobe while the person is a little bit sedated, but they're still awake, and they try to give a scenario of different uh, things which can from their brain uh, and crave for it. And what they do is they go ahead and uh, we call it nucleus accumbens, which secret dopamine, which is your happy receptors. Those hormones are released when you're happy, when you're getting rewarded and when you're excited. And that is one of the thing is uh, you need more and more and more doses to curb that desire. So they go ahead and stimulate that area of the brain and try to see if that works. And they did this study on four patients uh, two of them work really good, one relapsed, one is still going on. And that is a good breaking news because uh, more and more disease are being tried uh, going into a root cause, which is your brain. And if you can hit uh, the target right uh, with minimal complication, I, I think we'll have a breakthrough over there too. I hope so. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarani, for being with us this morning. As always, we appreciate your time. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, you can text the question to the number on your screen, 361-855-6397.